Hello everybody and welcome to my e-lesson. I am your guru and in this video I will tell you how to record your macros to create charts in Excel. So once we are done with the lesson, this is what you will learn. You will be able to create this button which once pressed will create these charts for you. See, we have created this chart using macros. See, two charts, not only one. <laughs> so we press this button and we have two more charts again. So that's that's what macros can do. It can save you so much time. Let me tell you how I did it. All right. So to create a chart with macro, what we need to do is we need to start recording a macro. To record a macro, you need to have to activate your developer tab. To do that, you need to click over anywhere, take your mouse anywhere over here, do a right click, go to customize ribbon. If you're using Excel 2010 and above, you'll see the developer tab already over here. Just check it like it is checked now. Press OK. If you're using 2007 and below, then you'll have to find the options tab over here. And once you click on that options tab, you'll find the developer tab somewhere here. And then again, you press OK and you'll have this developer tab ready, which will look like this. Now to record a macro, just select a cell. I'll say A1 is the right place. Select the cell, click on record macro, give it a macro, give the macro a name, macro chart macro 2. All right. This is what I gave name I gave. You can't give spaces in the names so be careful with that all right and you can assign it a shortcut key of your own choice and if you want the macro to be run only in this sheet you can do that if you want the macro to be available all across your excel sheets on the same computer use personal macro workbook all right you can write a description and click ok now see the button has changed to stop recording that means the macro is being recorded now when you start recording a macro, it does not matter how long it takes because it does not record the time, but it records the number of steps you took. All right. So let's start creating our chart. I'm selecting this data, going to insert, going to pie chart, selecting a pie chart. It's done. I select my data again. I go to insert. I go to column chart and I select a column chart. So I've created two charts. All right. Now I go to developer tab and I stop recording. My macro is ready. How do we test that? Let me delete these charts. All right. I go to macros. I go to, I select the chart, the macro that I just wrote chart underscore macro two and I click on run. See? And my chart is available. So very easy, right? Now, how did I actually assign a button like this? It's also very simple. Just go to developer tab again, go to insert, select this button, click anywhere where you want the button to appear and assign it. It will ask you which macro do you want it to be assigned and you assign this macro to it. Click OK and your button is ready. You can right click it, edit the text and give it a name say like I thought create chart and resize it also now let's test the button okay here we are <laughs> this is cool right so this is how we create charts why don't you go ahead and try this for yourself go to myelesson.org and from there you will be able to download this file for free go to excel training videos and you'll find that how you can download the chart and the file like i created this macro for vlookup we go over there you see the video here and you can use this button to download the file all right choose to buy the course you can choose to buy our course also for free which will then be available to you in a form of a pen drive so now until the next video this is your guru signing off for the day have a wonderful day ahead happy learning